First of all, you're lying when you say that they're all three-year-old orphans. 95% of them are men of military age. You liar, you, you know that. You're working for the enemy. Number two, Barry, you say they were worried about widows. Do you know who blew up the police dog, that heroic police dog, in that raid last night? It was a woman from Syria or from some other Muslim hellhole. That's right. She was wearing a burqa. Underneath, she was hiding a suicide vest. And, of course, she set off the suicide vest, and she killed the police dog as the French police went in there to get them before they killed people at Charles de Gaulle Airport in a mall. A heroic police dog named Diesel killed in the police terror raid targeting that piece of vermin from Morocco who allegedly they got. And she was a woman. She killed a dog. And so Obama says that we're not, uh, we shouldn't be worried about women and orphans. The seven-year-old Belgian shepherd dog, a Malinois, was killed by terrorists when French special forces raided an apartment building in the Saint-Denis early on Wednesday morning. A Twitter user who paid tribute to the dog, Diesel, said he had died to defend our colors while one police handler said it was a little like losing one of our colleagues. Well, that's only part of the story. But let me tell you something. There's a lot more to the story than that. And the reason we're saluting the Russians today is Putin is sending 150,000 soldiers to Syria to wipe out the subhumans in the Islamic State. 150,000 Russian soldiers. And suddenly you will see all of the brave men who rape eight-year-old girls, the brave men who pose on social welfare sites with the weaponry that is given to them by these vermin. You'll see them flee like the rats that they are as the Russians go in. And let me tell you something that you don't know. The Russians are not going to be followed by Jake Tapwater. I can guarantee you that the Russians will not let Jake Tapwater or any of the other boys from America's Brazil of the jungle, called the media, follow them into action. Because unlike America, they're not going to be constrained by rules of engagement, which almost guarantee that our men get killed or shot first. I can guarantee you the Russians will not be followed by Jake Tapwater. They will not be followed by cameras. They will not have helmet cams. They will go in and clean them out. They will kill them, every last one of them. On that pleasant note, I'll take a break. Joy. 